He has, uh, I mean, he made some plays against a very, very good and outstanding defense. And so that concerns you. His running ability concerns you. And then uh, also, I mean, he passed the ball efficiently, efficiently also. But, you know, those coaches up there, uh, Randy Sanders, Joker Phillips, Pat Washington, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, they know what they're doing. I mean, you know, they, they're, they're big-time SEC coaches that – put their kids in position to win games and they know how to move the football and so uh, they'll have him ready to play. They'll prepare him and, and you know, whatever they do to limit their you know, limit what he does or what he not doesn't do, it all comes from the coaching side of it. So he'll be coached up and ready to play. The little film you have on Whitlow, I mean what can you draw from and how much emphasis can you put on that one that one game in South Carolina? Well, uh, one is very, very athletic. Uh, he does have a decent arm. Uh, there were times where, uh, you know, South Carolina got him because of their experience and, yeah. and who they are, their personnel. And then there were times where he got them, yeah. you know, which is an SEC game which goes back and forth. And uh, I think at the end, South Carolina made more plays in crucial situations to win the game. But overall, I think that uh, – he performed well all the way, you know, yeah. maybe up to the fourth quarter. For the I kid thought. that they're thinking about or probably going to pull the red shirt off of and you have no film, college film to look at, <laughs> Jeff said something interesting today, which was that the tendencies that you're char charting up in the box and relaying down is going to be huge on Saturday, uh, more, maybe more than ever. Is, is that something that you're going to be really intent on doing early sure. on? Sure, sure. Because, you know, every quarterback has a specific style. And uh, for a kid that you haven't seen – you know, play in a college game, yeah. you don't know what his style of play will be. You know, just like the kid that uh, got hurt, I mean, he's more of a drop-back guy. Mm -hmm. He's not much of a runner, but very, very efficient passer. Uh, very smart football player, knows where to go with the ball, and he does those things naturally. Kind of like a Tyler, you know, mm -hmm. sim very similar. Then you put in athletic kids, you know, this kid is, you know, I would say very similar to our DAC. You mm -hmm. know, young mm -hmm. kid, freshman, you know, uh, under the gun, he can run, he can get away from pressure, he can throw the ball decently and things like that. But the young kid, I mean, you, you just don't know how he'll react or what situation that uh, they'll, they'll actually put him in the game and, and what the things they'll ask him to do when they put him in there. And maybe more than any week so far, adjustments on the fly is going to be a big part of what you guys do. Sure, sure. And, uh, and they are very efficient at what they do. Uh, you know, they, they've shown that they want to run the football, and they've run the football. I think the tailback uh, averages 6.5 yeah. 6. yards a carry, you know, and that's over the last couple of weeks where he's been very efficient. So, uh, and, and 25, uh, he's a good back. He's a good running back also. So they got SEC players. Uh, you know, LaRon King's a very experienced guy that has played a lot of football. And uh, so, uh, again, we're playing an SEC team. I mean, it's not – you know, somebody that just uh, just going to show up. I mean, these guys are well coached. They know what they're doing, and I'm sure that they'll be prepared for us. Well,